This episode is about the Super Console X Pro micro SD card cloning. The reason that I bought the Super Pro X console is because I found the games today has too many menus and buttons you need to use in order to play. I really miss the option to play a game like in the past. We're using the arrow keys and the jump and fire button where all that was needed for fun playing, like uh, 35 years ago. These consoles contains all the consoles from the 80s and 90s and more. It can also function as a TV streamer. For example, this game, Golden Axe, is a wonderful game. As I said, it also can function as a TV streamer, and that is how I lost the micro SD card that is needed for the game console feature. I ask my friend to lend me his own so I can duplicate it. Since my friend's micro SD card was 64 GB and I had only 32 GB micro SD cards, I use the free software called Mini Tool Partition Wizard and a temporary external hard drive. First, I download and install the software on my computer. Then I needed something that can read the micro SD card from the console. You can use this kind of adapter. This one can read SD cards and micro SD cards. And all you need is a USB socket on the computer. Or you can use SD card adapter if you have an SD card slot on your computer. In my laptop, in my laptop, I have micro SD card slot, so no adapter is needed at this phase. I used a SATA to USB adapter to connect this SSD drive to my computer. After I connected everything and the software was installed, I choose the menu Copy Disk to copy disk my friend's 64 micro SD card to that hard drive that I connected to the computer with the SATA to USB adapter. Need to choose the source and the target and then choose apply to commit the changes. Important message. When the computer will give a message that the drives need to be formatted, just close the window or choose cancel.
To be able to fit the 32 GB micro SD card, I install another free software named Tree Size in order to figure out where are the big files on the disk are located. I found out that most of the big files are belong to the PS1 console so I moved them to another location for backup. After I moved enough files, I could, with Minitool Wizard, to copy the disk to a 32 GB micro SD card. When the process is done, I test if my 32 micro SD card work on the Super X console. I put the card in the console and turn it on. It look looks like it's working. I can see that now I have only four games in the PS1 console, but this is temporary till I get my 64 gigabyte macro SD card from Amazon. Since I moved too many files from the disk, I can bring some games back because there is enough space and I can see that I have now six games in the PS1 console. I'm just loading one game to see if it's working okay. The 
that looks great. Then the 64 micro SD card has arrived and make things much simpler. After I uh, open the case and open all the package, So I put one SD card in the original slot that I have in my laptop and the other one I put in the USB adapter. And with the mini tool partition magic, I just copy the entire 64 giga micro SD card to the new blank one that I have. So as a thank you present for my friend for lending me his card, I designed and printed a wall mount for the Sopper console. Just like this.